start in the middle. <laughs> well, I'll be turning 64 years of age. Oh. <laughs> you feel sorry for me. And uh, I've been in practice now for six years. I'm really looking forward to maybe cutting back a little bit and committing more time to the public sector. I uh, have the time now to do it. So many people don't have the time when they're raising a family to go run for the legislature. I've got the time. I can financially afford to do it. You're not going to get rich serving in the legislature. I can make far more money sitting in my office, but I, it's, a, it's, it, it's, I've got this commitment within myself to serve the public, and I would like to have that opportunity this time. I'm ready to do it. I'm willing to do it. I will commit myself 100% to the job. Well, I can tell you a lot of reasons I, uh, I'm i running, but uh, I'm not running because I'm retired. I'm not running because I'm bored. I think my wife and I am, uh, are busier than we've probably ever been in our life right now. We've taken on so much. We have our own company that we own. It's one we started several years ago. We've got other projects. But at the same time, uh, there's just something in me that I'm a complaining citizen, and, and I just see things happening and I see political things going on, and I'm not a, really a politician. I've got things in my heart that are right and wrong. Um, I mean, what I'm trying to say is not wrong in my heart. I don't mean it that way. I mean, in my heart, things are right and they're wrong. They're black and they're white. And uh, it just, it's just time for me to get in and, and see what I can do. Now, I know I'll be the new guy on the block. I know that there's a lot of things I don't know. I need a lot of education. But one thing I do know, our Constitution was written by men that spent a lot of time in prayer uh, working this out, took them a long time, and they were trying to guard our company, our country, from ever falling into socialism. And I can see why, because I was raised in it. But I'm not there anymore. And I, and I want to fight for this country. I'm a veteran. I've already fought for this country. Uh, I've already seen some things that if you haven't been there, you don't know. But it's deep in me. I'm here for a purpose. Uh, having served in the past, I enjoyed the opportunity I had to serve uh, the folks from District 31 in the past. Uh, I think I was fairly good at it. I've been told by some folks that they'd like to see me go back over the last eight years. Uh, on a fairly regular basis, people have asked me what I'm going to run it. And uh, one of the reasons I didn't run in 2004 was because I wanted to go back to school and finish my education. I, and in the last four years, I've been taking undergraduate business course over Black Hill State and I'm currently one of the, the first part of the first cohort to uh, complete an MBA program that's uh, sponsored by Black Hill State University which I can I'm happy to say that uh, uh, Priscilla Rothman is the dean of that school and they've put together an excellent program up there and, and it was, I'm very grateful to have that opportunity to have gotten a, a, a graduate degree here locally and uh, I will have completed that goal and uh, so now that that's out of the way it, it frees me up to have to uh, consider uh, serving again. You certainly don't do it for the money. Most of us will spend more money on our campaigns this year than uh, we will make in our first first legislative session. Uh, so you definitely don't do it for the money. But you know, you, you uh, get a sense of gratitude of trying to make a difference and, and have an opportunity to, to serve uh, your country. And, uh, and I think we're all passionate about that and, uh, and want, us, want to see a better, better today and tomorrow for our future. Well, I've been a political junkie for decades. Since uh, since 1986, I think, when we first started the Denver Gaming campaign, I have spent time in the Capitol each and every session. I've worked on legislation for Denver. I've worked on legislation for the uh, health crafts of the legislation and rules. I tremendously enjoy the process. Uh, as chairman as chairman of the Center Study on Alcohol uh, a couple of years ago, I was amazed at how many laws have been piled on top of one another without going underneath to try to, to sift through and get some of the stuff out of there that needed to get going. You know, we went through chapter 35, or chapter 34, and completely rewrote that chapter and made most of it all local control, whether it's the county issuing the license or the city issuing the license, we made it all local control. I love the process, I enjoy it tremendously, and quite frankly, and as humbly as I can say it, I think I'm pretty good at it. 
Well, it's been a real pleasure to uh, represent you and here. And I hearken back to the mission statement, waste, abuse, fraud, and corruption. I, I haven't seen that here as long as I'm there, I don't think you will. I've been running budgets for 36 years. I kind of got into politics almost by accident. I moved here in 1972, in 1979 I ran for the city council and uh, had a career of 17 years in 1996, I was defeated in an election. So I had 17 really, really good years for Spearfish and we were never in the red. Our mill lady stayed stable. We built the Young Center, $1 million in city funds, $10 million in state funds. That was a great bargain for the, for the citizens of this community. I have experience on the appropriations. I'm much better, I will be much better next year if you send me back than I was the first two years. There's a process, it's complex. We work 14 hour days, five days a week while we're there. It's, it's an exciting process. I call it intense, rewarding, and meaningful. Intense, rewarding, and meaningful. And I would love to go back there and continue to work on the budget. You will not see deficit budgets if I have anything to say about it while I'm here. You will not see corruption. I have a track record, a long track record, particularly in the area of finance, that I'm very, very proud of. I've never run a, a, a budget in the red one year at the training center. That isn't terribly well funded either, but. I do a very good job in that particular area. And I have an open mind, I'm approachable. I'll talk to anyone, even though I need a number of issues. We have, another, we have 500 bills that we deal with as well. So there's two things to do in here. One's the budget, one's everything else. I deal with the budget.